Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know and today's situation is a Lululemon bathing suit review. Where I live is currently in a heat wave. Woo! Everything's on fire. It's really hot. It's like 30, 35 degrees Celsius. I live in Canada so not Fahrenheit. Very hot here so perfect time to be doing a bathing suit review. I do want to give the disclaimer that I work for Lululemon. I am an expediter or educator there so I do get a discount on the items that I buy. That being said I buy everything with my own money. I do not speak on behalf of the company. I'm just sharing my opinions about my thoughts and feelings on the bathing suit. I also want to put a secondary disclaimer out that I will be showing myself in these bathing suits and that's a vulnerable thing to do on the internet so if you feel like leaving a mean comment or saying I have cellulite or stretch marks. Know that I already know that. I look at myself every day in the mirror. I'm editing these videos and I am me. So I actually already know everything negative about myself. So if you feel like leaving that comment, I would just simply not waste your time and I would click out of this video because I am somebody who has a larger chest. I have a curvier body. I put on some weight over COVID and if that bothers you, just go ahead and leave now. And for those of you that are staying, thank you so much for making me feel comfortable to do this. I love reading comments that talk about my body representing somebody else and, and showing them what they can look like in a piece of clothing or showing them a different body style. So that's the great part about this. The bad part is people that feel like they should comment on what I look like. Don't do that to people. Don't comment on what people look like unless it's a compliment. Okay? Capiche? Thank you. And if you are interested in checking me out on Instagram or TikTok, my username there is Sarah's Situation, just like here. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you like my videos. So these are the bathing suits I will be reviewing today. I got two bikinis or two two pieces, and then I got three one pieces. None of these swimsuits say they're built for my size. I have like a 30 six triple D and I've gained a bit of weight so if you watch some of my older videos I probably say a smaller size but now I'm a bit of a larger size. I still wanted to see if they would work. I did want to talk about the fabric makeup of all of these swimsuits because they're basically the same. They are all roughly 80% nylon and 20% elastane with some added lycra for stretch. All of these work well in the water. They don't go see-through, nothing like that. So I'm not going to rate it on that because I feel like that's a given. I'm going to have five categories for this rating. First being fit, second being feel, third being design, fourth being coverage, and fifth being support. Let's get into the actual try-on and my review. So the first bathing suit that I'll be reviewing is a waterside one piece in true navy. It's also in a size large. This is the only one that's in letter sizing instead of number sizing. The rest of them are in numbers. But for Lululemon, a large is roughly an eight or a 10. And that's roughly what I got in all the other sizes. So I wanted to stay pretty consistent. It's intended for a B to C cup for support. And it is a medium coverage on the bum. It has spaghetti straps that are adjustable. So at any point in the day, if you want a little bit more support, a little bit less, and then the back is lower cut. It has no built-in bra. And the reason I mention this is because other bathing suits I will be reviewing does have a built-in bra. It has removable cup pads. I personally do not like to wear this with the cup pads, but they do exist and they do come with them. And then the Lululemon logo is on the bottom of the bum, like subtle, kind of just blends in because it's the same color. Let's get into reviewing. The first being fit. This fit I really do like. I like how thin the straps are and I like that it kind of makes me look a little bit like dainty. I also think that the coverage of the bum and the side are nice. So the back is a tiny, tiny bit cheeky, even though it does claim to be high coverage, but I do kind of have a larger bum, so maybe that's why. And then I like the cut of the front. I don't think it digs in too much in kind of your leg slash thigh area. Because of the color, I feel like it hides a lot more of the insecurities I have with my body. And then I like the way that the low back sits. So overall, I would rate fit two out of two. I will also be rating feel a two out of two because I just feel good in this one. I feel cute. I feel nice. 
In terms of design, it's a pretty basic design. I'm not really sure what more I would be expecting out of this. I will give it a one out of two for design because it's super basic. Nothing wrong with that. It just is basic, so I feel like I can't give it an extravagant review for design. In terms of coverage, the top gives a ton of coverage. Even though it's a scoop neck, so it goes a little bit lower, I think it shows a comfortable amount of chest. I think the back has great coverage. Overall, I would be rating coverage a two as well. And then in terms of support, like I mentioned, this one does not have a built-in bra, so there is basically no support. But because it is a tighter fitting suit, of course that gives a little bit of lift. I will rate this a one for support. I almost went 0.5, but I'm gonna go with a one. So out of my rating chart, this bathing suit has been rated an eight out of 10. I do quite like this bathing suit, so I think that's a great rating. <laughs> Next is this two-piece, so bikini, whatever you want to call it. It is the waterside square neck top intended for B to C cup sizes with the matching waterside super high rise high leg bikini bottoms. I got the top in a size 10 and I got the bottoms in a size 8. A little bit about the top, it does have an adjustable closure in the back. If I could get this off, we're struggling a little. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's kind of poor quality, don't we think? <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Anyway, so you can adjust the closures. Then you have adjustable straps. These ones are definitely thicker than the first bathing suit. This one has a built-in bra, so it has like a thicker bottom, and then a little bit of ribbing on the side where that kind of is supposed to support your boob. <laughs> I wanted to try this because of the color mainly, Color is so gorgeous. And with the bottoms, not too much going on. These claim to be super high rise and kind of a higher cut in the leg. So they have medium coverage for the bum as well as a little bit more coverage across your leg and thigh. Let's get into my personal rating. In terms of fit, I, I'm doing this as a unit. So mm, yikes, I'm gonna rate it a 0.5 because on me, the bottoms are definitely not super high rise. They do not reach my belly button. And that's with me like really pulling them up is how close they get. So these are not super high rise on me by any measure. This length of the bra is not enough coverage at all. And again, I wanna go back to my point where I said, they never said it was for a triple D. They said it was for a B to C cup. But even sizing up to a 10, which is almost the largest size in this, it was a hard no. There was spillage everywhere. So this is a true, true, true to size fit. If not, it might even run a little bit small. This adjustable closure, I just don't think it's enough of an adjustment for it to matter. I would have almost preferred that it was a tie closure so that you could give a little bit more adjustment or that they made this part just go back further so that you were making a bigger change with every kind of closure that you went into. So overall for fit, I definitely rate this a, a 0.5. For feel, I definitely don't feel good in this bathing suit at all. I'll go, uh, I'll give it a one because I know that it's more my fault than it is like the actual bikini, but I definitely do not feel good in this at all. Design, I will give it a 1.5, which kind of feels a bit high, but if this actually did fit you, I think this would be a really cute and well-designed bikini because it has that support. You could also put in the cut pads if you wanted. The color, I actually think the bathing suit is really cute. That's why I picked it out. Just the design doesn't work for me, so that's why I'm docking 0.5. Moving on to coverage, I will say the bottoms do actually offer quite a bit of coverage. Going back to the top, it wasn't made for me, so there's no no coverage for me but I also think even if you were for the B to C cup size I don't think you would offer that much coverage so I'm gonna go with a one and then in terms of support I would actually probably rate it a two just because it doesn't fit me doesn't mean it's not supportive having built-in supports like I mentioned on the side here the straps are a little bit on the thicker side and since you can adjust the fit you can kind of give more support or release the support I actually think it would be quite good so I will rate it a two so overall I rate this bathing suit a six if you are a B to C cup I would definitely check it out because that's not that bad of a rating for something that really doesn't fit me that well <laughs> the next bathing suit I will be reviewing is the waterside high neck one piece so this is definitely the most different in design from any of these bikinis or bathing suits I got it in a size 8 it's in the color raspberry cream 
It does not have an intended cup size. It does have a built-in bra. So it has a little bit of a band under here. You can do the removable cup pads. These do have the cup pads in them right now. Again, I do not personally like to use those. With the high neck, of course, it's going to offer a lot more coverage. The straps are also the thickest of any of the bathing suits that I have today. It does have a low plunging back. And then the sides are a little bit lower too, I would say, compared to the other swimsuits. And this is intended to cover quite a bit more of your bum and your hips as well. Like the other one, the logo is just hidden in here because it's the same color. Let's talk about my thoughts on this bathing suit. In terms of fit, I think it fits well. I don't have any pro major problems overall, except for the fact that this band just sits a little bit weird on me. So I will be rating it a 1.5 for fit. For feel, I don't feel that great in this bathing suit. I don't think it's super flattering on me or anything like that. But at the same time, if I was feeling insecure about my chest or about my bum, I would like the amount of coverage that this offers and, and really feel like everything's covered up. So I'll give it a one out of two. In terms of design, this is where I think they kind of flopped. Because they did this built-in bra, the fabric itself is not quite thick enough to conceal. It is a double-lined bathing suit, but this band is just too thick and you can actually see it through the front of the swimsuit when you're wearing it and it only to me gets worse when it's wet and then I also find that the cut of this bathing suit somehow is worse than all the rest and it just kind of looks weird in my pelvis area. I don't know how this one makes my stomach look the worst. Overall not a huge fan of the design so I'm gonna give it a 0.5 coverage I have to give it a two because of course this has the most coverage and overall with the coverage even though I personally don't think I look the best in it I think there are lots of people who would feel really great in this who would feel like the coverage is just what they need to feel comfortable and then in terms of support for the right person I think that this band would offer a lot of support and the thick straps also give a lot of support so 1.5 this one comes out to a 6.5 that's fine Next is the second bikini, which is the smocked swim top intended for B to C cup size with the matching bottoms, which is medium coverage and high rise. Not called super high rise, just high rise. So keep that in mind for one quick second. This is the most different in terms of design for all the other ones that I got because it has kind of a textured look. There's the logo on the bottoms and then the inside is still that soft, smooth fabric. The color of this is a mouthful. It's Hyper Stripe Raspberry Cream Warm Apricot. Lots going on here. <laughs> this one is a pullover, so no adjustable back, just one single tube top looking thing. And then it has straps. The straps, to me, are a great thickness. I did have to get this top in a 14, so this is the largest size that's offered, but I stay true to my size in an eight in the bottoms. This also has a built-in bra, for added support. So again, you get the ribbing on the side there and the band on the bottom. This one also still has the removable cut pads. Let's get into my ratings. In terms of fit, I personally think this one fits me the best. This fits me how I would like for my chest to be held, how I would like to look. The bottoms to me are actually super high rise, which is strange because they're not super high rise compared to the other green ones but they cover above my belly button. They look so cute together and I like the little peak of my stomach, but I don't have to show too much my body. So definitely rating fit a two. I almost thought about docking because I did have to go up so much in size. But again, I have to remember that this is intended for a B to C cup and I do not have that. In terms of feel, I absolutely feel the best in this one. I feel like the smocked kind of takes away from any sort of imperfections in your skin, whether that's cellulite or anything like that. In terms of design, even though these were only meant to be high rise, to me, they're super high rise, so big fan. I also like the design in the sense that the thickness here is just so much better than the green one. There's just so much more coverage, even though they're both for a B to C. But I have to revert back and say that I just don't like the built-in bra, so I do have to dock it for that. So overall, I'm going to rate 1.5. In terms of coverage, two. 
because again, re-mentioning everything I kind of just mentioned, there's lots more fabric horizontally to actually cover your chest. These are super high rise, even though they're not said to be. I like the coverage that the bum gives, so giving it a two for coverage. In terms of support, I do have to dock because there's no adjustable straps. I think that during the day, if this were to stretch out a little bit at all, it would be nice to have the option to tighten it or loosen it. 1.5 for that. I am rating this a nine out of 10. So far, that's the highest and makes sense because this is my favorite. The last bathing suit I will be talking about is the Waterside Square Neck. I got this in a size 10. I got the other one that's pretty similar, the High Neck in an eight. And honestly, I think I should have gotten this one in an eight as well. It has the built-in bra. Of course, the difference is that this is a square neck, so much less coverage, and the other one is a high neck, so a lot more coverage. So moving on to my reviews. In terms of fit, I don't think this one fits me very well, and again, I do have to kind of give a little bit of grace because I think I got too big of a size, so it's a little bit loose in weird places, a little bit too much extra fabric, but then I also really don't fit into this built-in bra. And unlike the high neck one, even though I didn't quite fit it, I could adjust and I would still be covered. I really can't adjust with this one. I just don't think the fit is ideal on me, so I'm gonna give it a 1.5. And then in terms of feel, I don't feel that great in this because of the built-in bra. You can see the bottom part of the bra, which I don't think looks that great, so I will rate it a one. In terms of design, I do like that because it's a square neck in the front. It's also square neck in the back, but overall it's still pretty basic. Like there's nothing screaming at me for this. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, I'll give design a one. Coverage I think is not too bad on the bottom, but on the top for me specifically, I'm not a huge fan of the coverage. And so I'm going to give it a one. And then support, because my chest is too large, there really is no support. And without adjustable straps, there's really nothing I can do about that. If the straps were adjustable and I could lift it a bit higher, it might give my chest some lift and be able to kind of fit a little bit better in the cups. But without those adjustable straps, I just can't do that. So I will also be giving support a one. This one ended up getting the worst rating at a 4.5, which makes sense. This actually is my least favorite bathing suit. Even though the green one doesn't quite fit me, I like the color more, I like that it has adjustable straps, and I like the fit of the bottoms more, but overall this just is my least favorite one. So let me know which your favorite bathing suit was, either for yourself or on me. I definitely want to repeat the sentiment that it is vulnerable to show your body in a bathing suit on the internet, so if you have any mean things to say about how I look, don't. <laughs> I think that saying negative things about people's body is a reflection on you. Though I wish that I was hitting the gym every day and I was eating healthier, I'm happy with my body. And so your mean comment is just not going to do anything. Go find something better to do. With that, I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about any of the swimsuits or any other swimsuits, definitely let me know. And if you'd like to follow me on any other platform, you can find me on TikTok and on Instagram at Sarah's Situation. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.